How's it going, dudes, and welcome to the Ghost Cage. I, I just saw this and thought I wanted to play it, so let's play. Phew, I'm really tired after all that packing and traveling. Moving to a new place is always a pain. But this house looks really nice. I can't believe the rent is only 200 a month, which is all I can afford until I find a job. And it comes fully furnished too. Uh, let's check out the house. Okay. Water. It is all that a house this size would. What? It looks like f it looked fresh. It's pr person. Yeah, person and I would probably say this. The landlord said he was going to stop by tomorrow to see how I'm doing. So I should ask him about it. The door to the attic is locked. I can ask the landlord. Okay. Oh, there's a brand new red shirt here. The previous tent must have left it behind. It looks nice. I'll take it, but I better not wash it with all my other clothes or I'll or don't turn pink. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, let's go to sleep. I don't know why she went to the foot of the bed. Ghost. What was that? I feel like there's something or somebody out there, but it's too dark. I can't see anything. Well, there was something. Yawn. It's probably just the wind. Was it? Was it just the wind? Oh, my happiness went down. Mm, I feel like something weird happened last night. But I really don't remember things clearly. Anyway, it's time to wake up. I should introduce myself to the villagers today. Uh, what just happened? I accidentally held shift. Thanks for dropping by. It's a nice place, but a couple of strange things happened yesterday. Oh no, I was hoping it had given up by now. But I guess it's still in the house. Did you see it? See what? The ghost. The infernal being has been haunting the house for years now. And I can't seem to get rid of it. A ghost? No, I couldn't see anything last night because it, it was so dark. But I thought I heard something. Yup, that was probably the ghost. It looked, it likes to leave a ghastly blood stain in the spare room upstairs too. No matter how many times it clean the blood stain reappears every morning every single morning Ugh. you you think a ghost would have better things to do I guess this is why the rent is so cheap I don't blame you if you want to move out I'll give you your deposit back hmm I'll see if I can't befriend the ghost. That's the spirit. I wish you all the best in dealing with the ghost. I live in the neighboring village. But I do my shopping in the general store here every day. So I'll let... So just let me know if you have any questions. Bye now. Okay, so... I'm guessing... I'm supposed to be f Ooh, chicken. Why did the chicken cross the road? 
really? Hello, I'm Sybil, and this is Rosalie, my dog. Can I help you with anything? Hmm. Do speech bubbles pop up above me mean anything? Take sure you the effect of various events. Okay. The music during the case happiness indicates that your happiness has increased. Well, it decreases. Part will be hostility. Okay. Any tips? I think there are only two endings here. The general store. Oh, that's you. The. Hmm. Matches. What do you say? I'll pay you 40 gold. It'll be a few hours of your time. I'd love to. Cool. Oh, my happiness went up. Probably because I got money. I think that's all? I think, yeah, uh, no, there's something up here. There's this big log blocking away. Hmm, that might come into play later. Ernest said the blood stand upstairs appears every morning. I wonder if I should do something about it. If I find that there's nothing else for me to do for today, it's probably time to sleep. Okay, so... Clean it up. That will show the ghost who's the boss around here. Oh, that brought up hostility. I don't think that was a good thing. It needs oil. It actually allow me to see at night. And here comes the ghost. Once again, I hear something. Boo. Hello there, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, I guess. Anyway, this is my house, and I'll keep bugging you until you are gone. I think that went well, all things considered. I don't think the ghost will be back tonight, so I should get some sleep. Okay, so cleaning up is not the right thing to do. Draw something? I'm not going to use my bear Oh, I need a paintbrush. Um, if only I knew where to get one. Hmm. Do you have the key to the attic? It's locked. Oh, sorry. I forgot not to give it to you. I'll have to go look, go look for it at home. Why don't you see me tomorrow? By the way, one of the houses I own needs cleaning, painting, and some minor repairs before new tenant moves in. I need help just for today. Though, who knows? I may need some help tomorrow as well. So, how about it? Sure. We. Okay, I can't do both of them at the same time. 
Uh, I got a lamp. Wait. Oh, but I didn't get the, uh, paintbrush. Sure, why not? So I'm guessing these, uh, items don't run out. I'm gonna leave the blood stain there for now. Because getting rid of it increases. Wait, does it increase the hostility? I think it does. I really need to find lamp and mat matches and oil. I'm tired of being able to. S not being able to see clearly in the dark. Okay, so I need oil. Wait, wait, wait. What about right here? Oh, there's the paintbrush. Draw something. Let's, let's make it into a heart. Alright, there's gotta be some oil somewhere, maybe here? Yeah! Okay, now I can go to sleep. And matches and oil. Yeah, it sounds ominous. Ouch! Do it, heavy armor. How on earth did people walk around in these things, much less fight in them? How dare you invade my castle, you despicable intruder! Ahem, <clears throat> do ignore my creaky armor. It's getting rusty anyway. I want to get rid of the squeaks in the creeks. Oh, that's very kind of you. If you don't mind, I'll take a bit of the oil. Um, I'm getting tired. This armor is super heavy, so I should probably go. But I'll be back tomorrow night. Of course you will. I just remembered. I have to do laundry during the day. Otherwise... I won't have to clean a clean sheet to wear tomorrow night. <laughs> I think the night ha was great for my help. Yeah. Hmm. Seeing the ghost as a night gives me an idea. Maybe I should dress up in a costume tomorrow night and see how the ghost reacts. I don't currently have a costume, but maybe I can find one somewhere. Yeah, I think that red shirt had something to do with it. Let's draw something. Let's go with a smiley face. Well, it won't win any award, but it certainly depicts a smiley face. Oh, that didn't go down as much as the heart did. Uh, yeah, let's just talk to you, get that attic key, get that, get that 60 gold, max happiness now. Oh, the music has even changed. Why am I just noticing that? I guess they just use this armor to dress up. As a knight. Now that we have the attic key. There's a sword here. Let's take it. Even though I fervently hope I'll never have to use it. Use it. Use for it. Okay. Maybe this isn't a ghost. There's a dog-eared, a dog-eared copy of Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson here. The bindings all creased too. I have a feeling that 
that someone probably the ghost that read this gazillion times. Give it another book. Hmm. I don't have any books in my inventory. Well, there is a bookcase downstairs. The three musketeers. Okay. Let's go and give it another book. Wait, can I can I change this? Nope. I'm gonna light all the fireplaces. Pro it's a fire hazard, but I'm still doing it. Hey, come on. I, I had a brilliant idea yesterday. I was dressing up in costume for tonight, but I don't. I didn't end up getting one. Should I still go to bed? No. I mean, we have this. But how, where am I gonna, oh wait that log, maybe I'll use the sword on it. No, okay. Hmm, maybe at a general store? No, it won't let me. Doggy. Okay. Um. I want to get a costume, but I don't know what to. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. I have an attic key. Wait. Oh wait, that's creepy looking. This is a little creepy looking. I feel its eyes are following me wherever I go. Oh. No. I don't really see anything that would be able to help. No. It's empty. Hmm. No. There's a white bed sheet. Pour a strong clean. Yeah. Apparently the bed is lumpy. Maybe that's why he's so grumpy. Oh, but I want to do that costume, but I can't. I don't think I. I don't think I can yet. Hmm. What is this red shirt for then? Whatever, let's just sleep. I'm spotless. I could tell that you put some bleach in my laundry. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Glad to be of help. So, can I ask you why you're haunting this house? I used to live here. Then, well, 
something happened when I was 12 and my parents left the house. When I was stuck here, I can't go anywhere else. Anyway, that's enough talk. See you tomorrow night as well. Oh, I nearly forgot. Thanks for the book. I just started reading it and it's very promising. Are there any pirates or clowns in it? You're welcome and um, no, I don't recall any pirates or clowns in the Three Musketeers. Oh goody, I hate clowns. They give me the heebie-jeebies. I usually only like books with pirates and buried treasure and parrots that talk. But the sword fights in the Three Musketeers are fun too. Hmm, I certainly, I certainly learned something about the ghost tonight. Maybe I should ask Ernest, the landlord, about the history of this house. Yeah. Let's draw something. Star. That didn't do much. Alright, Ernest. So I talked to the ghost last night, and it mentioned that it used to live in the house as a child. Until its parents moved out. You know anything about that? Gosh, that was so long ago. I only met the previous owners once. But I believe they had a son named Dorian. I don't know anything about the family though. You know what? Old Miss Hubbard Hubbard really may, ha may be able to help you. She lives in this village lived in this village for many years and years and years. That was his next to the shop. He's very she's become very hermit like over the years though. She'll open the door only for her weekly supply of groceries. Mm-hmm. Give me those groceries. I have enough. Oh, dang. He is 20. By the way, do you know, know someone by the name of Dorian? <clears throat> I haven't heard that name in such a long time. We used to play together when I was young. He had a teddy bear that he loved. And I had a toy rabbit. We had such great fun, especially in the clearing beyond his house. We even had a tree house back there. But one day, he disappeared without a word. He didn't even leave a message for his parents, but he never got along very well with them. So everyone thought he ran away. Oh no, I wish there was a big... I wish there was a big log block in the path behind the house. I'd love to take a look at the treehouse. In that case, all you need is an axe. You, you can have mine. Uh, thanks, but, uh... You carry an axe with all... With you all the time? I started doing... So, ever since I heard the news report about the grandma who got eaten by a wolf. Really? You know, the one with the little girl in the red hood. Um, I think that's a fair... That was a fairy tale. But never mind, thanks again. To the back of the house. Get rid of that log. Check out the treehouse. I guess Dorian and Miss Hubbard used to play in this treehouse. It's a little run down now. But it must have been lots of fun back in the day. 
Okay. Top Secret Empire, do not read it. Probably should read it. I think I might know where to get it is. Alright, let's read the... Oh, well, let me read it. Okay, I guess I'll go to sleep. There's nothing else for me to do. I mean, what do I do with the teddy bear? I guess I give it to him when he comes to visit? the piano the, ki the girls knows how to play piano uh Dorian hmm wow that's amazing that you can still play the piano even though you're talking to me anyway I talked to Miss Hubbard your old friend is this your teddy bear? Is this teddy bear yours? Oh wow, you found Oscar! So, did you really run away from home? Everyone thought I did, but I fell by accident to the well behind the house. And I guess nobody cared enough to look for me there. At any rate, I'm stuck there until one of us leaves. The gear to one of us leaves, and I can't really leave. Why not? If I step out of the house, I go into limbo. An eternal world where I exist, but can't do anything. At least here, my task of painting a freshly bloodstained every morning and all the newcomers keeps me occupied. Our hostility level is, is at 11, which is low enough that I consider you my friend. Can I help in any way? Really? You're the first person to ever offer me, offer to help me. If you recover my body from the bottom of the well, that will give me peace and I will no longer have to roam this world as a ghost. I'm on my way. Wait, are we actually doing this? All this music. It looks really deep. I have a rope. Audrey, I have one in my inventory. So let's go. Oh. Oh, this is even deeper than I imagined. It's a good thing I have this rope. I think I hit the bottom. It's even bigger than I thought possible. But never mind that. Let's look for Dorian's body. Where could he. Oh, I think I found him. I think I found it. I'm glad Dorian is finally at peace now. And you found his teddy bear too. Good work, Isabel. Now that the house is no longer haunted, maybe I should raise the rent. Oh, that is just... That is just not right. And Isabel lived happily ever after in a formerly haunted house. So she didn't miss the ghost's presence now and then. Free spirit achievement unlocked. Help the ghost find peace. That was actually really nice. Oh, very heartwarming again. Kinda curious what happened yet. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna find out. But anyways, that was the ghost cage. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. And if you're new, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. And thank you all for watching. Have a very happy Halloween. And I'll see you in the next video.